and wake up. Hi. Hi, everyone. One moment. Ah. <sighs> Wait, I can doze off? Presumably it just starts the next loop again. <laughs> anyway. Hi and welcome. I hope you're having a nice day today. Welcome to your evening. Over here, I'm feeling, yeah, a bit tired. It's been a, yeah, it's been a, a normal day. Not a particularly difficult day. Not a, not an, an easy day either. Just a day of editing uh, the latest YouTube project. So, I've just started work on Divinity Bullshittery Part 3. Uh, I've moved over the footage from the previous project, well, basically the last master project file, and I've just been going through it, making notes. I was supposed to type up an update to the patrons and the Twitch subs. Um, I got about halfway through that, and then I just ran out of time, uh, so I need to get back on that as soon as I can, and give you an update on specifically where I am with it. But, um, yeah, I'm still sort of going through the footage, just determining what's there and what I need in order to make something that will flow properly. Hmm. So yeah, how's everyone doing? How's the chat doing? Thank you, Lazarus, uh, Axie Toe, and Vahisht, and Mil Midran. Thank you, all of you. And Bowem, and Grim, and fuck, not and fuck, uh, and uh, Papega, and yeah, boy. Hmm. Yes, thank you for subbing, fuck. <laughs> all right. Ah, it's hot. Holy shit. Got a coffee in front of me. That's way too hot. Hmm. Okay, so this game is all about cooking marshmallows. It's like a cooking sim. You spend the whole game basically sitting here. It's, it's quite mechanically simple. You just kind of cook marshmallows and sometimes you burn them, sometimes you don't. It's going to be this for like two hours. Strap in. There's soothing music as well, you know, to make it easier. Ignore him. Coffee at this time? Indeed, Bernanator. Just to try and give me enough energy at the end of a lengthy workday. Okay. Yes, quantum marshmallows. Uh. Right, okay. Welcome to Timber Half. So, speaking to the back, uh, those who aren't familiar with the game type that they're looking at, it's a story adventure game in which we play as a young astronaut taking his first ever flight in this contraption that has been built by the engineer Slate. So, we're not the first astro uh, astronaut to leave this world. We're about mm, the eighth, I think, roughly. Hmm. So, we're taking flight to go and explore the solar system. Now, even though it's our first day, um, something's gone a bit wrong. Uh, this is actually a stealth time loop game. Uh, it's Groundhog Day. We're stuck in a Groundhog Day situation. The time, basically time is resetting itself, and it does so in a very explosive fashion, because the star goes boom. Every time the star goes boom, every 22 minutes, we wake up here next to the campfire. The reason the star is going boom is not entirely clear, but surely it has something to do with the ancient aliens called the Nomai that once lived here. They've fucked with it. They fucked with the sun in, in a capacity that isn't clear yet. Uh, but regardless, my mission, uh, so even outside of the time loop, is to take my spaceship and a new translation tool. Basically, I'm the only Harthian that is carrying... Oh yeah, hang on a second. What is that? What is that? Sorry, what does that actually do? Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay. That answers that question. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Um, I'm not wearing my jetpack. I can't get out. Help! Hang on.
Can someone help me? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna meditate. I'm gonna meditate and think about how badly I failed. So we can assume that as we're sitting in this pod, uh, what's his name? Not Tefra. Uh, Spinel, the angler guy, has probably noticed, calling over Tefra and Galena who are laughing at us. Porphy, the soup vendors, trying to pull me out of there. And then Slate gives and Gossam both give me a scolding for breaking the ship immediately before I launched it. And it's gonna take weeks to fix. Unbeknownst to them, time resets. And we wake up again at the campsite. And wake up. Or or not. Or the game's gonna Oh no, weird. The game had a moment there. Strange. Okay. So, anyway, well that's not too bad because I kind of needed to do, to do that anyway because the Nomai were fucking with the sun and apparently they built something on the sun or on its well, surface question mark in its Oh, what's happened? The game is blacking out on me. Is it my monitor? It appears to be my monitor. Strange. One second, what have I done? Have I cocked up somehow? Have I fiddled with my monitor input? Uh, settings, contrast, imaging, display port is fine. I don't know what's going on there. Strange. Okay. If it keeps happening, I'll just reset the PC and just, or just make sure the monitor's plugged in or whatever. Whoops. Okay. Right, anyway. So, can you see that building there? That, I believe, is the sun station that the Namai have constructed. I'm going to see if I can dock with it. It will only be there for a short time because as the sun starts to explode, it gets bigger. It goes into... it basically red giants itself. Well, that is moving very quickly. Is it even possible to dock with that? Slow down. So, apparently, the Nomai... There it is. So that's their mysterious sun station. Oh. Whoa. It, I have no ability to... Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die! Hmm. I appear to have no ability to target it. I guess that means it's not autopilotable? Thank you, Eat Chemicals. Thank you very much. Okay, that's a problem. <gasps> What's going on with my monitor? Have I put... Have I fiddled with a setting? When the screen goes black, it's almost as though my monitor is switching off? Have I done something to it? I was fiddling with some settings earlier. One moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Replug the yes. Let me just give that a welly. Let me just um, pl uh, plug it, uh, plug it, in, plug it in again. Words. Hang on. Put her on in the meantime. There you go. You can look at it. Very lazy creature. Smelly lazy animal. Hang on. Just plugged it all back in again. G Sync does something similar when your TV's connected to the PC. Hmm. Oops, that's wrong. Hang on. I've lost you. One minute. 
Oh, uh, no, no, it's fine. Uh, let me just move this here. Sorry, all of my windows have now scrunched into my central monitor instead of the side monitor. There you are. Hello, chat. Sorry for the, uh, the mess about. Okay. Let's try again, shall we? Okay. Whoop. So, if we cannot dock with the sun station that way, maybe there's another way to get there. So, let's go to the... hang on, rumour mode. So, this is an overview of everything that I've learned about the ancient aliens, the Nomai. According to this, their sun station was... Uh, so, the Nomai debated building a sun station in order to power the Ash Twin project. Exactly what the Ash Twin project is, we've yet to determine. The Nomai built something called the Sun Station, but not everyone supported its construction. Something about exponential power drain. The Sunless City. The Nomai built into the walls of a huge underground cavern. The city is divided vertically into four districts. The Nomai debated building a Sun Station in order to power the Ash Twin project. Several Nomai opposed its construction, arguing that failure could result in the destruction of the solar system. The Namai travel to the solar system in pursuit of a signal from something older than the universe itself. They named the source of this signal the Eye of the Universe. There is more to explore in the Sunless City. Let's go there then. So, the Sunless City may have a way for us to get directly to the Sun Station. There are teleport points that the ancient aliens have built. I presume one of them links up directly to the Sun Station. The problem is, it's blocked by cactus. I'm not even joking. It's hard to reach. Okay. Oh, congrats, Zam. That's amazing. Holy shit. Congrats indeed. Congrats to your brother as well. That's really good to hear. You get to be the cool wine drinking auntie. Yeah who turns up at Christmas parties and says all the wrong things. Congratulations, Zam Rabbit. Okay. Right, so, welcome to the Hourglass Twins, the two planets that are exchanging sand. Like so. Alright. Now, the Sunless City is apparently... Uh, where was it again? We can get in if we go through here, can't we? Hang on. There's a little access point in the... Where is it again? This side here. <laughs> right. Let's go and explore the Sunless City. So, when the Namai first arrived here via their, via their escape pods... One escape pod landed at Brittle Hollow, which is the accretion disk of a black hole, and the other one arrived here. Whoopsie doodle. There we go. Avoid that, that's dangerous. So, they got to work building a subterranean city here, and shortly afterwards started working on the mysterious Ash Twin project. Whatever it was, it was so important to them that they kind of sacrificed building another vessel. Which is important, because this is a species that migrates from planet to planet. They decided to just stop doing that. The Eye Shrine, the High Energy Lab, Stepping Stone District, Anglerfish Overlook. The High Energy Lab is down there. Before the sand completely blocks it off. Let me just have a quick look. Another look. So the High Energy Lab is where they started experimenting with some results that they received. So <clears throat> Sorry, a pen. So, um, the matter that's collected around the edge of a quantum singularity, a black hole. So the matter that is in the process of being devoured, but is orbiting. So, uh, surprising, well, you might be surprised to learn that black holes are actually incredibly visible because of those accretion disks despite otherwise being... Shit. 
Does this lead anywhere? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe this is just the way. Oh no, hang on. This is the um, stepping stone cave, isn't it? Of course. This is your way out if you fuck up and the sand fills the cavern. So what's that over there then? Hang on. Whoop. Oh. Oh. Oh, there are two different ways out. Got it. This must be where the school, the crash is. Yeah, this is the crash with all the dead kids. Hmm. So there's still more to learn somewhere here. Anyway, sorry, what was I saying? Um, yes, so two escape pods managed to land safely. And this was one of them. So it's particularly notable. My, my point is that a species that was previously so into migrating decided to settle down in order to investigate the Ash Twin project. Now, I've, I've a few times speculated on what it could be. The fact that the signal predates the universe itself and that the Nomai are clearly using memory backup and restore technology makes me wonder if it, perhaps it's like a, a Noah's Ark type situation where they've gone and preserved the minds of their citizens to try and wait out the end of the universe. Which may be even more likely now because I've discovered fairly recently that this universe is very old. Much older than I thought. Apparently, uh, according to the vessel's log, so the ship that I found derelict, the stars are generally going out all over the place and the Nomai are having trouble finding resources to the point that the vessel suggested coming together in a fleet. This vessel never responded. In fact, it was gone so long that it became a myth in the culture of the Nomai. So, whatever was here, whatever the Ash Twin project is, is so important to this species that they let themselves become a myth. Indeed, Tasty Nugget, but I found logs at the at the Black Hole Forge saying that, well, one disgruntled Nomai was pointing out that they could use the advanced warp core to replace the vessel, and yet they did not. They used it to power the Ash Twin project. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing, I'm just kind of... No, I'm just looping around, I've been here. There's something that I haven't discovered here in this in Sunder City. I wonder what it could be. Something to do with this power source? Is this coming up directly from the high energy lab? I think it is, isn't it? Nickvac, it's a time loop game. We're playing as a young astronaut from a primitive race, a bit similar to the Mudakans from the Oddworld series, who are making their first tentative steps into space. Unfortunately, their progress has been horribly polluted by technology from the ancient aliens that once were moving through this solar system, but subsequently set up shop here. So we've utilized lots of their technology to advance our own species, horribly changing the course of its destiny. I don't know what I'm missing. Maybe there's something in the high energy lab, but surely that would be a different entry. Maybe it's something obvious, like a piece of text saying, hello, this is the Sunless City? Should we build the Sun Station to power the Ash Twin project? Yarrow. Are there other ways to generate this level of power? Theoretically, yes, says Pi. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetimes. Brammy says, I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the Sun Station must be built if we hope to complete the Ash Twin project. Idea says, I almost can't comprehend this is being suggested seriously. The purpose of the Sun Station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe in as a species. If we fail, and the probability of this is not insignificant, 
we will without question destroy ourselves, all life here, and the rest of this star system. I wish to protect these species. The potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe a cost. We shouldn't build the sun station, no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try. I believe, if we are cautious, the sun station will work. I believe in Pi. Poke, I'm deeply honoured. Idea, I comprehend your position. However, if we aren't all but certain the sun station will not cause destruction once we've built it, then I won't support the station's use. Interesting wording. Hold on. We want the knowledge that comes with it. The knowledge that comes with it. I've met one of the Nomai, and yet I haven't, and yet I have. That voice beyond life and death told me that they value knowledge, it's their driving principle. And later, one of the goals of the clan, their driving goal, became to get one of them, or at least a conscious mind, into the anomaly that they called the Eye of the Universe. Does it contain knowledge, somehow? The Ash Twin Project is the thing that's sending the signal over to... What's that? That's just the door control. Damn. I don't have all of the puzzle pieces. Not yet. But if I had to sort of place my bet somewhere right now, I'd say that that probe that they're launching is either manned or it contains memories or something. It contains the Nomai in a repository type state. I think they're trying to cheat the end of the universe. That's my guess at any, any rate. This. Have I read this one? I've never been here. Quickly. Who's been computing shuttle trajectories to the sun station? Don't worry, the station is in such a low stellar orbit we've constructed a different, safer way to travel there from Ash Twin. That would be Pi, says our dear. I told her we wouldn't be travelling there by shuttle and that the sun station doesn't even have a landing pad, but she said she knew. It's a purely theoretical exercise on my part, um, says Pi. To Yarrow, uh, who doesn't who doesn't love computing a good low stellar orbit shuttle trajectory? Pi, I look forward to working with you, but I'm also relieved it will be easy to return to Ash Twin regularly. The launcher. That's what it's for. It's got nothing to do with the quantum moon. It's got fuck all to do with the quantum moon. Okay. Right. Where is it? Ouch. Yeah, yeah, it is a breakthrough. Hang on. I made an assumption. I assumed that the launch pad that we saw was purely to get stuff to and from the quantum moon. It became a, a site of holy pilgrimage for them. So I figured that was the purpose, but it's not, is it? Okay. But wait, if that's true, and he said it's just a theoretical, then why the fuck have they built it? Hang on. Activate the gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. Call it back. There it is. Their technology, a shuttle ready to fire. The Sunless City, an external entrance? No. Okay. Are we going to get buried or are we okay? Wait a minute. 
launch it. Do I get data on it? Sometimes it shows me data readouts on... Uh oh, I don't have long. It's about to get buried. Whoa. It's covered in ice? Oh, one of their helmets, one of their suits. Ready to go. One of their ancient spacesuits, not decayed. I fear our situation may be dire, says Clary. Pi, Poke, and I landed here on this comet not long after its arrival in the star system. Wait, it goes to the comet? Our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Pi and Poke were able to locate a fissure in the ice on the comet's sunward side, and they descended inside to investigate the source of the readings. But Pi and my sister have been gone for a long time now, and, I, and haven't contacted me since descending below the surface either. Should I leave the shuttle to f look for them? I want to follow protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Poke, Pi, come back to me safely, my friends. It goes to the interloper? going is it trying to get to the same trajectory as the interloper or is it just going to fly off into nowhere It looks like it's flying off into nowhere, but I guess we'll find out momentarily. Hmm, okay. Maybe I, I made an assumption that it was a shuttle to get to the sun station, but I guess not. Huh. Oh shit, I didn't notice. They died here, waiting. So this is the body of Clary. We've read her messages continually. No, I think it's just heading off into nowhere, isn't it? Unless it comes around. What's it doing? I don't think it's guided. I guess it's how they got here, but I guess I'll have to take my way. Okay. Right, we're, f we're sailing off all the way over there. Okay. Warp it back. Ah. Uh, or, you know, just be stranded up in space because the bloody spaceship doesn't work. Hi. Um. I'd like to... I can step out, but I'm like 29 kilometers away. Okay. Fine. Be that way. Oh, good point. The platform is probably under the sand. Well, piss. Okay. <laughs> yep, that's me. <laughs> You're probably wondering how I got in this situation. Ah, this far out, maybe we can hear all the music.
when they were getting a line. <laughs> Hang on. So I just drop out for a second. Kind of creepy. How long until they're all in, all in alignment, do you reckon? Let's have a look. Soon? Although Dark Bramble is not going to be cooperative, is it? There's a the harmonica. It must be timber half. Some of them are moving further away now. <laughs> Here comes Eska with his whistling. Okay. We probably have to get in the path of Dark Bramble, wouldn't we? Eska, would you get your shit together? I know you're like a million. <laughs> Sorry, to explain. Each of the individual Harthian astronauts have a musical instrument, and it's rather beautiful that they're all playing the same tune, just a different, well, a different instrument in the, in the track. Apart from Eska, who's whistling out of sync. I'm gonna go down there, I'm gonna take this fucking rocking chair away. Okay. So, the star is about to explode. The music is playing, indicating that this is it. Once again the time loop will start again. So let's go to the interloper now. Maybe the interloper is the key to get... Well, they... Hmm. I need to check the ship's log. They mentioned a safer way to get down to the sun station. If they're referring to the tower that's part of the Ash Twin project, it's completely blocked by the bloody spikes. I can't get in. Or is it... Or is it, actually? Would the sand let me in if I run real fast? Hmm. Let's try that first. There goes the star collapsing under its own gravity. All of that mass falls down to the core, and then... Boom. Although I'm probably a bit too far out to be killed by the blast wave, I do die with some sort of strange effect on the screen. Maybe that's because the quantum moon is destroyed, and maybe I was there too long, and... I don't know. Yeah. 
So, speaking to the people at the back, what's happening now is that piece of know my technology that I fiddled with at the start of the game is restoring my memories. A statue that interfaces with a memory repository device, which I think is at the heart of the Ash Twin Project, but I do, know, do not know if it's the purpose of the Ash Twin Project. I don't know it's, if it's merely standard operating practice for all Nomai. We'll see. Okay, so let's get to the Hourglass Twins and let's see if the teleportation platform tower is accessible when the sand starts sinking. It might be. Get my spacesuit on. Check the log quickly. What did I learn? The gravity cannon, frozen near my shuttle, subsurface energy readings. It's all to do with the interloper. There's more to explore. Okay. We'll do that in a bit. Initiate launch. All right. The hourglass twins where church drums sing. Let's go. So, the Ash Twin is covered in sand. But as it starts to pull away, the towers will be revealed. At which point, maybe we can get into the Sun Tower. Maybe. Could that be it? What am I looking at there? Is that the top of one of the two towers? Not sure. Could that be it there? No, it's the same thing. Which tower is this? It's also got one of the sigils on the top, look. I saw one of those, it's a navigation marker. A way to use point-to-point -point advanced warp drive hyperspace, or whatever the fuck it is. Right, keep circling, circling the, yeah, the uh, equator then, following the sand, or at least moving in the same direction. looking for a tower that's going to poke its its head up out of the sand. We'll land the ship near it and see if we can sneak our way inside the sun station. Okay. There's the quantum moon being all quantum. So, what I've learned so far is that the mysterious anomaly that's orbiting this star system that they've dubbed the Eye of the Universe cannot be seen. They use the quantum moon as a sort of, uh, like, pilgrimage. They go there and the quantum moon, when it's in orbit around the Eye, takes on the property. here it is, takes on its properties. There's the Sun Tower. That's as close as the Namai have ever been able to get, at least a few hundred, or if not thousand, years ago. Tantalizingly taunting them as they ride the moon. Okay, so. So the floor is covered in the spiked cactus that stopped me getting in, but so is the roof. So if I'm going to do this, I'll have a very small window. I don't even know if it's going to work. I guess we'll find out momentarily. Just need to keep running around until I potentially find the door. Here. Okay, get ready. Is this going to work? Is this the broken door? That's the broken door. It's broken. Try the other one. 
Hello, interloper. I think this is it. With a platform too, if memory serves. That's bad timing. You can bog off. Go away. Ah. Go away. Go away. Oh shit, the bed. No, don't take my ship. It's fine, it's not gonna take- Oh, you fucker. Fine, keep it. Wanker. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Don't know where it's going. I'll find it in a minute, if it's still intact. Here we go. Ready? 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 So, can I get through? The answer is, maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Uh, oh, I'm so good at this game. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't punch in my head. Whoa! I'm so good. Okay. Right, we're in. Here we go. Now, nice and quick. When the sun station is in alignment, I won't have a guide to help me. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So, their teleportation system is going to take me straight to the sun station. I really hope it's not terrifying. What is that? Oh, just a moat of something. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. And... Whoa, okay. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, off the pad, off the pad, off the pad. Don't touch. Okay. <clears throat> okay, nice and quick. Sorry, I'm just... Fuck. I don't have long before the expanding sun destroys the platform, or at least renders it inaccessible, I assume. Okay. Oh, 281,042 years ago. No user commands received for 10 minutes. All systems entering sleep. Six minutes and 43 seconds ago. Increased solar activity detected. Sun station hull integrity approaching critical levels. Closing emergency doors. Holy shit. Is that the true length of the time loop? Or just when this was built and when they started their little project? Hang on. Open emergency doors. Whoa. Okay. Um. <clears throat> well, gravity's low, but uh, what? Okay. Am I making a jump? Is that what I'm doing? I'll never make it. Oh fucking hell! Fucking hell! Fucking hell! Oh 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 no no. Okay, okay, no, it's fine. Okay. Up, 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 up. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, my God. Okay. Whoa. Someone's in the film Sunshine. Okay. Wow. 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 Okay. Just the masks. Just the masks. What does it say? Quickly. Pi. Mission. Science compels us to explode the sun. Can't we change this? I don't enjoy working in the view of such a morbid mission statement. But it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That is our mission. 
Our mission is to decide if such an irresponsible feat is even possible. Here's a better one. Mission. Determine if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. You lack a sense of humour. At least I don't lack a sense of ethics. <clears throat> Kindly refrain from going supernova on me before the sun does, idea. worth it. Closed eyes. No one activated this one. Quickly. I don't have time. The star has reached end of natural life cycle. Now approaching red giant stage. Warning. Evacuate sun station. Approximate time until Sun Station is destroyed by expanding star, 2 minutes 26 seconds. Approximate time until star's death, 13 minutes 56 seconds. Hurry. Show me the Ash Twin Project. Show me, show me. One, two, three statues engaged. Me, Gabro, and the third. Who's the third? Is it a person? This is what's inside their precious barrier. Balance between the sun and the eye of the universe? What does that mean? No time. Quickly. What happened? Did the sun station not fire? It fired, Yarrow, but it failed. The sun barely responded. There were infinitesimally small surface level changes, but they were barely visible even to the third eye. The sun station is useless. It will never and could never cause the sun to explode. I don't know what comes next, my friends. I suppose we just start over? But I'm unsure how to start over. Return to Ash Twin first, says Yarrow. Perhaps a change of task would help. Spire noticed a comet approaching this star system that we'd like to investigate. Pi, I hurt for you, my friends. We all know how hard you both worked. I can only offer my compassion. How are you? How is Idea? We're well, Yarrow, or as well as can be expected, given the circumstances. Though disappointed, I may have disagreed with exploding the sun, but I never wished the device would fail. I hoped our terrible work was finished. What the fuck were you doing? tried and failed to explode the sun. It would explode. Uh oh. In 57 seconds.
So they did it on purpose. Or tried to. So that they were trying to make the sun go nova. Is that to power the Ash Twin project? Is that what they meant? Is that the purpose of the sun station, I wonder? It's not to draw power from the sun. It's just to blow it up and harvest the energy from its... Or maybe the, the Ash Twin project to harvest the energy from the supernova. They need a supernova's amount of energy for their project? What the fuck are they doing? And then they went to investigate the anomaly with the comet. Let's go to the comet. Where they died there. Sun station. The sun station was designed to make the sun go supernova. The Nomai fired the sun station, but it had no effect on the sun. They concluded that the sun station could never cause the sun to go supernova. After the failure of the sun station, the Nomai took a break to investigate the newly arrived comet. According to the Nomai computer, our sun has reached the end of its natural life cycle. 281,042 years. I've got pieces of the puzzle, but they're not fitting together properly. There's something missing. Let's go to the comet. Follow in their footsteps. Several large Nomai towers form a ring around Ash Twins' equator. The Whitehall Station was used as a model for these towers, which were built for the Ash Twin project. Designs for each of the towers on Ash Twins' equator. Each tower warps to a different planet. But that's purely just a fast travel system. I assume. Let's go to the comet. Okay. Autopilot set towards the interloper. Okay, so for the people just joining the stream, the ancient aliens seem to be a lot more malevolent and uh, malevolent than I expected. They were in, well, they were trying to blow up the entire solar system. Life forms here be damned. Are they really here for almost 300,000 years? A migrating species living here for generations. I'm really curious to see what was so worth it. The interloper. Scanning. No quantum fluctuations detected. No no my distress beacons detected. Coming to land. Okay. We can't seem to land easy on this thing. It's tumbling. Never mind the landing then. Does the trail knock me off course? What's that? 
their ship. One of their ships. No, of course, it's the ship, isn't it? I recalled it and it had ice stabbed through it. This is the same ship. Pretty. Clary's body is still aboard. This is troublesome, says Clary. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Even if it did, we couldn't su couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have launched on the dark side of the comet. Landed even, sorry. Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise, says Pi. I think Clary, uh, if you don't mind waiting here with it, Poke and I can continue to investigate the surface. We're right next to the sun, aren't we? Holy shit, 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 shit. Whoa, that's cool. That's so cool. Okay. We just went at a crazy speed around the sun, didn't we? We did. Oh, that was cool. Okay. That was probably the fastest we've ever travelled in the game. Okay. Where did they go? Did they leave like a trail of lights or something for me to follow? Ooh, fucking hell, fuck, slippy. Cool sounds. <laughs> Whoa. This is it. said Fisher. Could this be it here? A strange Fisher on the side of the... on the side of the comet. A tunnel, maybe, that will lead me somewhere? I haven't seen it yet, unless I'm blind. Chat, don't answer that. Or respond to that in any way. Am I blind? Why this way? I have to return to the ship in a minute to get a bit more thrust. Oh, I see no entrance of any kind. This is where I find it's like next to the ship and I'm just a dumbass.
Did they land on it? Did they land on a crevice that would lead them down? And therefore, if I, if I go to the Hourglass Twins and recall the vessel, will it rip up this huge chunk of ice and reveal the path? I wonder. Oh wow, the White Hole Station, look. That is an artificial station that they've built. It links with a black hole in order to pull matter. What's that? Oh, it's the uh, Giant's Deep. It's just quite dark. Okay, I'm going to go to the Hourglass Twins and initiate the recall and see I'll have to look and see if I can see it from, from above me. No. Okay. meant to do that. It's fine. Whoop. Right. Just another visual scan. I see no fissure or anything beyond that bit there. Like, there, but there was no way in. No crevice, no cave. Chat's getting aggravated. Chat's getting aggravated. Huh. Okay. Now let me let me cross let me just let me just fiddle with the idea and then if it doesn't work then I can try the new idea. Head towards the ember twin. Go down, slap the switch, go back up, fly to the comet and have another look and see if it's revealed the passage, if they landed on it. Also, look at this ridiculous creature. It's probably hard to see, but she's, she's lying on her back. Her head's to the right there. Lying on her back with her legs up. Super comfy. The weird smelly alien on my sofa. She's very happy. She's got a belly full of food and treats. She came back from her dog walk. <coughs> so in the afternoon, she goes with a dog walker. It just became convenient because also it would give her some socialization. She would get to hang out with another dog on the regular. That's helped quite a lot. Right, so recall the ship. The shuttle is currently resting at the comet. The shuttle has been recalled. There we go. Now, let's get back up to the comet as quickly as we can before it disappears into the star. No, 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 no. Piss flaps. I'm okay. Whee! Right. we go. Check the map. We are there and probably going to fall back to the surface of the Ember Twins if we don't 
just our course. And where is the comet? The comet is moving up that way somewhere. There it is. Lock onto it. Initiate autopilot. Shouldn't kill us, I don't think. Okay. Indeed, the flaps made for pissing. Piss flaps. Any important findings? Yes, uh, Deathblade. It appears that the Nomai, the ancient alien race that live in the solar system, decided to blow up the sun on purpose, for reasons that are not clear. I'm guessing because they needed sufficient power for their little project. But they tried and said that they failed. So maybe it's a red herring. Maybe it's got nothing to do with the destruction of the sun. It's just blowing up because it's reached the end of its natural life. Okay. Whoops, meant to do that. It's fine. Bump. Bump. Check the logs. Show me the interloper. Frozen no my shuttle. Stayed behind, lost contact with the other two after they descended below the, inter uh, the interloper's surface. The shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Two of the Nomai located a fissure in the ice on the interlo ah, interloper's sunward side. Ah, okay. So, the shuttle has gone. The sunward side, okay. Is this the fissure? With strange energy readings? Slide around like I did a minute ago? Am I blind? Is it like right in front of me and I'm just a thicky McThickerson? The chat says yes. Where's the sun gone? There it is. Ow. from my footsteps. Some side. It's at this point that I feel that the 22 minute time loop is being accommodating for my idiocy. The time loop was five minutes, but they were like, look, he's got no chance. 22 minutes. Oh, bloody hell. Fucking made me jump. Critical fuel levels. See, I rarely hear that because I'm just so good at this game. Whee! Ah, see? Hmm. Huh. Sunward side. Thank you, Mr. Hopalong. Thank you very much, Mr. Hopalong. A strange fissure on the sunward side. Ouch.
Oh, hello, Dark Bramble. <laughs> oh, what's that? Yeah, it's just a rock. I'm just running around on a muddy snowball. Whatever the energy readings are, they'd better be amazing. Maybe it's, it's not revealed until it gets partially melted? I don't know. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Whoa! Fuck, 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 fuck. Whoa, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. What the fuck? Uh oh. What's going on? Uh, whoops. I started flying and I fucked up. Hang on. Was it because it was picking up loads of speed? <laughs> uh, what just happened there? Is it because it started falling towards the sun? It went faster than I could move? I have no idea what just happened, chat. <laughs> well, I'm kind of screwed. Um, can I get my ship? Can I meet you on the other side? Um, oh, okay, so it started picking up a shit ton of speed, and I went flying. I'm going home. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm moving at 300 something. Okay, I'm moving way too fast. <laughs> Is that the village? Am I going to land in the village? Oh shit, the bed. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> so. My dead body is going to float into the village and splash down in the middle the middle of the lake to be fished out by uh, Spinel, the angler there, who's going to be like, what the fuck? Okay. Am I thick? Like, for real? Like, no jokes? Am I... Is it in front of me and I'm just being a dummy? Hmm. There goes the explosion. There goes the probe. Yes. Okay. I am thick. Right. Uh, spacesuit on. Back to the interloper. Right, the interloper is on its way toward the sun soon. It's on the outer edge of its orbit. Where's the sun? Sun, 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 sun. There you are. Hello. Okay, the interloper is... Yeah, it is pretty much on the other side right about now. Is that it there? There we are. Initiating autopilot and getting a snack from the back. Ooh. Any marshmallows? Some tea? Ooh, marshmallows. Yes. Ah, yummy. <laughs> Tins of fish. Okay, here we go. Autopilot, are you gonna like be stupid on me? Evidently. Firing retro rock. Oh no, well done. I see I've trained my autopilot well. Alright. So for those joining the chat, you're looking at a a mystery, an extremely complicated mystery that Oh god, hang on. Are we speeding up? I think we're speeding up. Uh, maybe, I think I'm being squashed against the surface as the comet is accelerating towards the sun. Yeah, here we go. Falling straight towards it at a great speed. 
So that side is always facing the sun. Can I walk around? Ah. Hello. Just going to wait for it to get to the other side. Yeah, anyway, I hope, everyone, I hope everyone's having a nice week so far. I'm getting to work with the next bullshittery. I've moved some footage over from the NAS. It's the Divinity playthrough. I want to try and continue it. Uh, so I was going through some of that today, just making notes. I'm in the very early sort of structural stages where I'm just trying to... What the fuck? What's happening? Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die! <laughs> oh, this game is very cool. Okay. Wait. I saw that. I saw that. I saw what you did there. Don't you dare try to hide that. I saw what you did there. You cheeky little bastard. You were... Right, no, you cheeky bugger. I saw exactly what you did there. Okay. Hang on. You little bastard. Right. Right, this is the comet equivalent of a tectonic plate, isn't it? What's the term? Is it like subductive or something? So when one plate is being forced under another, the pull of the sun there is lifting it up, creating the fissure. It doesn't exist until it's orbiting around the sun. Am I overthinking it? it? It lifted up. This tip, this whole thing lifted up, revealing a section under the the comet. Overthinking it. I'm overthinking it. But I saw it. I, was that not what it was doing? It was lifting up. Revealing something here where the plates meet. The ice, this ice is sliding underneath this ice. So I just need to wait for it to get back into... Uh, yeah. To start orbiting the sun. Watch it lift up, presumably. And then just walk inside. And then get trapped underneath it. Oh dear. Okay. How long do we need to wait? Oh, piss. Oh, no, not too long. We'll see what happens. Is that like a... No. So do I have to wait in the safe bit and then slide over when it starts lifting, maybe? I don't know. Okay. Well, we've got a few minutes to kill. 
Thank you, Leon, and the winged... Uh, sorry, the Wing Inquisition, Hopalong, and Coleman. Thank you very much. Thank you. So this is the this is the dividing line, isn't it? So this is the bit that lifts up, I presume. Gotta get more fuel while we wait to fall back to the sun. Okay. So yeah, um, really not much is happening right now this week. Just yeah, walking the dog, and my kitchen's got plates piled high once again. Because, well, you know, that's just what happens when I don't clean them up. They just start getting stacked up and then the desire to just get a takeaway and be a lazy bastard starts to become overwhelming. And the trouble is, I also... Uh, but what's the term for it? You know, someone... I, I'm generally someone who doesn't like uh, sophisticated pomp... Like, like, um... Like a pomp and pageantry when it comes to food. I, li I like simple, hearty meals of potato, rice type meals, that sort of thing. Rather than anything fancy. So what I do is I end up buying simple meals and then start having a craving. Oh, I just want a, like, kebab or something. Whoop. So I end up falling for, like, the temptation of, oh, I really want something fancy. Yes. Although I did go for a jog today. I went for a run. So I was the sweaty man that was heaving, trying to breathe, running up and down. So yeah. Oh, it's the chat in emote mode. Oh, okay, yeah. Cool, cool mods. Thank you. Thank you for your work. Hey, I can say anything I want right now and you can't... Yay! <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, so let's see what happens when we get close to the sun. Hmm. Oh, honey. oh she's, she's rolling around behind me. <sighs> How long have we got? Not long. Here we go. Right, we're falling back towards the sun. So, let's see what happens to these rocks. Do they lift up the whole thing or just a little bit of it? Do I die? Wait here, see what happens. Okay. So I reckon all of this is going to slide up and reveal that the inside is... I <sighs> don't know. What will be on the inside? Mysterious readings on the inside. Hmm. Here we go, everyone. Ooh, pretty. Or will we be just flung to our death like the ship? I guess we'll find out. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, so it's not lifting up. The ice is melting? Okay. I thought it was lifting up on me. Shit, don't lose control. Get to the fissure. Get to the fissure quickly. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not in the fissure. I'm going to burn. Where's the fissure? Where's the fissure? Where's the fissure? Show me the fissure. Get down, get down, get down. Okay. Right. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Huh. Holy shit. Ghost matter. Goddamn. Be careful. Oh. Okay, my mistake. It wasn't lifting up. It was just melting. And then replacing. Okay. This is where pie and poke went.
These must be food. Hi. I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer, closer to the comet's center. And I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we will lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand, but be cautious, both of you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shit, 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 shit. Is that... That looks a lot like... Careful, careful, careful. Don't slide directly into ghost matter. Slow, slow, slow. Careful, 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 careful. <gasps> okay. Not down there. Up there? Is that even a way? I don't know. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Ghost matter detected. Careful. Whoa, this is eerie. Holy shit, this is cool. Pick the right one, pick the right one, pick the right one. Okay, okay, okay. Around the edge, around the edge. Up, 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 up. Okay. Oh no. Covered in the same crystals? Pie or poke? I don't know. What is that? Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit. Okay, hang on. The core of the interloper. No gravity. Whoa! The ghost matter is the interloper. And also has a motorbike inside it. Oh no, that's outside. Ghost matter is the interloper. From all of these planets. The spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings. No, rather the source is what's within the stone. I'm detecting some form of exotic matter. The stone is muting our energy readings. They should be ten times what we're seeing, at least. Pi, I don't think we want this matter interacting with us, as far as I can tell. Direct contact with it would be almost certain to be fatal. I've never encountered anything like this casing but it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Worse still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. Pi, whatever the matter inside the stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Look at this density scan. I've never seen anything like this tightly compacted before. What is this? This is orders of magnitude worse than I'd imagined. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost instantaneously and the pressure would still is still building as the comet hold on I can't scroll down as the comet does what return to the shuttle right now the rest of our friends need to know they're in terrible danger leave your equipment and run what are you doing Pi? the more we know about this alien matter the better our chances of survival I will learn what I can here Go warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somehow. Is the Ash Twin Project a shelter? As simple as that? 
Is the interloper the thing that's been causing the sun to explode this entire time? And they're not the architects of, it of its destruction. They purely wanted to shelter themselves from its eventual crash. stuff. Just pieces of the ice, pieces of this casing, which is already ruptured. What's this? fatal if I touch it. I cannot travel through there. That is also fatal. The only way out is the same way I came in. Okay. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Did it explode as they were observing it? He seems impaled. Was she killed instantly and he crawled away wounded? Stand by. Whoa, holy shit. Saturated. I have all the dots, I just need to join them. I've seen this stuff scattered all over the place just as a navigational hazard. This is the first time that Amaya really mentioning it. Okay. I need to get back to the ship. Don't have to worry about that now. Okay. Show me the ship's log. So here's what I'm wondering. Is the interloper crashing into the sun when it goes at the end of its natural life? 
No, it's reaching the end of its natural life. It's not the cause of the explosion. Is the interloper crashing or doing something the cause of the death of the Nomai? Did it release an enormous burst of exotic matter across the solar system, which is why they're all dead where they stand? It's an extinction event. I'm looking at the remnants of their extinction event. I found the two missing members of the Namai shuttle crew near a large ruptured stone that looks like it exploded from the inside. The Namai traced the strange energy readings to a spherical stone casing filled with some sort of exotic matter. They determined the exotic matter was both lethal and under extreme pressure. If the stone were to rupture, the exotic matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the solar system almost instantaneously. One of the Nomai stayed behind to examine the alien matter, while the other rash rushed back to the surface to warn the rest of the Nomai. But they never made it, did they? Because they don't know about this. This is the thing that killed the Nomai. Okay. So that explains what killed the Nomai, I assume. A huge extinction event shortly after they discovered that they could not blow up the sun. So they built the sun station ready to harvest its energies, I think? And then when it could not work, it just stayed running? It just stayed running. They, they left the lights on. They, they had a, a, a project ready to go. And then they left the lights on and it's continued ticking for 281,042 years until the sun reaches the end of its natural lifespan, blows up, triggers the time loop, Which is why we're stuck in it. So does that mean the Ash Twin project, its entire purpose was the time loop? That's it? Which means they never got around to launching the probe. Not even once. They just left it there on standby. The whole thing is a a complicated web of different contraptions ready to fire and yet waiting for an event to do it and the sun's natural death is the trigger. Which is why Solanum doesn't know who I am. Because we evolved in the prior 281,042 years. I think I've gotten everything. I think everything fits. There's no missing piece of the puzzle in my head, I think. Is there anything missing? The quantum moon, a pilgrimage site where Solanum remains behind, unaware of what's happened outside. All of their contraptions left to run until the natural death of the star, or until the death of the star, but they couldn't do it themselves. Bugger. So they never got to see any of this. They never got to see any of their... Any of their projects come to fruition? That's kind of sad when you think about it. Which means... They never answered the question. They never answered the main question. Which they spent all of their energies to try and figure out. What is the eye of the universe? But we can. We have its coordinates. All we need now is an advanced warp core. We know there's one in the heart of the Ash Twin project. Can we retrieve it? 
Can we grab it? Take it to their vessel. Engage its warp drive. And travel travel to the eye of the universe. Every memory recorded by a Namai statue is transmitted to a corresponding energy unit, storage unit, within Ash Twin. An advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin. So how do we get into the central chamber of the Ash Twin projects? I have yet to explore all of the towers connected to Ash Twin and use their corresponding receiving stations. Maybe we should start there. Each tower was designed to visually reflect its warp destination. Okay. trying to think about the, the forge. No, inside the forge there wasn't a method to build an, a new advanced warp core. Good point. We should check. One second. Am I absolutely sure there's no... Am I overthinking it again? Is there no central chamber or nexus on the Hourglass Twins? Drat. It'll be some time before we can figure out the answer to that question. We'll let the sand recede. Okay. This is an extremely cool game though, I must say. Extremely cool. I'm really, really impressed. Just each individual planet feels like it has a clever quirk that someone sat there for quite some time to figure out. Sorry for ranting, but it, it, it feels like Many games these days are just aping other games. They're just, oh, this other game was popular. Let's do that and add one or two things. There's a lack of innovation. There's a lack of of just clever design decisions made because every developer is just parroting the next one. This developer is not. What is their name again? Sorry, I must remember their name. I need to watch this developer very carefully. See if they make any, anything else I'd love to play. Mobius Digital. Very impressed with Mobius Digital. You know what I mean when I say that. As in, you play one thing, before you know it, there's two dozen clones of it coming out. With the same mechanics, with just a slightly different engine. Sometimes with mechanics that are only different due to the engine. It's just a carbon copy in some, not all, but some cases. This one's clever. This was a student project that was in development for eight years. Very good. Of course, Ryan. Yes, sometimes it's good to just take another, take a formula that someone else has made and put some improvements on it. That's fine. Rising Storm, for example, is so much better than Battlefield. It is effectively the same thing. Just with sort of some added tweaks that add to the flavour, and that flavour is so much better. But yeah, this one clearly has no interest in aping other titles. It's forging its own way, like that comet that's flying past that star. Or past me right now. Hello. Haha. <laughs> Haha. 
Okay. So, soon the sand will reveal the first towers. Maybe I could just check out those locations briefly. Go there, go back, have a look around. So that's the next question to wonder. So if the Ash Twin project was purely a quantum experiment that they wanted to use... Oh no, no, it all fits. Sorry, my brain, it all fits. They wanted to do a 22 second time interval on the request of the observatory because the observatory knew that 22 minutes would be enough time for the probe to launch and potentially find the eye. Travel fast enough to find the eye of the universe. So that's why they requested it. So they built all of these towers specifically for that project, for the, the time loop. So I guess the third statue was a red herring. A huh. little bit disappointed there. I thought that would have been cool. To find that there was one... I suppose that's Solanum's role, isn't it? To find that there was like one pilot aboard the probe who's been stuck in the loop. Hang on, here we go. So, one second. La -de -da -de -da. Actually, don't park there because my ship is going to go flying. Indeed, trip lead, but you, you get what I mean. As in, the other two statues that were activated weren't recording probe data. They were shown to specifically interface with a life form. So I was expecting the third statue to be a life form. I thought that's what it was setting up. I go to Gabro, I go to one by one all of the Parthians and find that none of the others are wearing the statue. Wearing the mask. Not literally. Sorry, what am I doing? So I figured, who's the mysterious third one? Okay. And everything else clicks. So the stars aren't, aren't going out because we've been stuck in a time loop for millions of years. They were already going out. This ouch. Ouch, 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 And the vessels lost contact with this Nomai because they all died from some exotic matter explosion. Here we go, so... I think I've got everything. I think all the pieces in my head have clicked together in the same place. In the correct place, I think. So are we going to go there? Wow. Oh, no, no, that's not what I wanted to... Oh. oh okay, uh, technically this counts as, as travel, but that's not what I wanted. Ugh. You wanker. Hang on. Stop it. Bloody sandy bastard, it's in my crack now. There we go. Ugh. Fine. Okay. <laughs> A really ice dude. But was, so, so honest question, without without spoiling anything for me now, how long do I have left? Do I have like many hours to the point that doing it in one session this evening is not wise? Or do I have like 20 minutes to the point I may as well just continue? And that, not long. Okay, I'll, I'll just continue then. I'll crack on then. Depends how long I, I smack my head against the final puzzle. puzzle. Don't you tell me. Don't you tell me.
Football League. It says 20 minutes for a regular person, a few hours for my density. That's rude. That's very rude. You're rude. Okay. What's the name of, um... You know that type of device, like an, an overcomplicated device, like a candle cuts a string and the string lets go of a ball and the ball roll, rolls into a cup which knocks over some water, you, you know, a Rube Goldberg machine. That's basically what this is, isn't it? This whole solar system, a whole bunch of contraptions, hang on. Which is supposed to trigger when... No, it's done it again. No, no, no. You know what? I'm just going to do a different one. So, I presume this is the sun station. Yes, it is. So, we don't need to go there. So this is, this is Giant's Deep. Stupidly bad timing. There we go. So we're here. Okay, been here. Got some air. Okay. Okay. Next one. This is Brittle Hollow. Where do I end up in Brittle Hollow? Filled Spa. There's Brittle Hollow. I'm seeing where they lead. So Brittle Hollow should take me to the Black Hole Forge. Just racking my brain to see if there's anything crucial that I've missed. Right, here we are. The Black Hole Forge. So we arrived shortly before we actually left. So where does that go?
wrong way. That ah, fuck. I didn't want to do that. Piss. Wait. Which one's this one? This is giant steep. Wrong way again. Bollocks. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, the center is nearly exposed. Here's my home, Timber Hearth. I missed it. There's Rybeck. Where's Eskar? There's Capro. Huh. Have I ever been to the Timber Hearth one? It's just outside the mine, isn't it? So what do I know about the Ash Twin project? They sealed it off with no way in or out. Those projection pools showed me a, a lit up, a slightly lit up pathway. Hello. Right. We are... Yes, pretty much just outside the mine. Okay. Whoops. Departure time. Okay, it's very slight, but it's there. Back we go. Okay. And that's Brittle Hollow again. So has all the sand been drained? No, almost. Probably do this faster if I had my ship. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't be broken. Don't be broken right now. Can you behave? Ow! Ah. Stop it. Right, let me in. Bloody hell. Okay, stand by. Okay, so hang on. So the two towers... I see. So, the, so yeah, the, the first thing that poked out was an observation port, but it only goes up. Okay. Only goes up. Is there a switch to send it down? Just going to explore with the time that I've got. Here's the other one, I assume. There's the door. Again, it goes up, only up, so there's no way down. They sealed all ways in or out. Apart from the energy that's going down. Shit, I don't have long. So that's just the 
base of one of the towers. That's the base of Brittle Hollow. Here we go. There's the shell. Let's check this. Super quick. Don't waste time. I've done it long. It only goes up. It only goes up. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Time for antics. Bloody hell. So completely sealed. All the way around. The sun's about to go. to get inside the Ash Twin projects. What piece of the puzzle am I missing? missing any piece. Maybe I can find a clue in the projection pool? How to get in? different happen to the towers that's when they absorb the energy to make the time machine work okay. hmm so here's what I'm thinking maybe it's got something to do with the guy said that this the ember twins were one celestial object is there a point where they're not? Is there a point where I can jump inside the other Ember Twins core, maybe? Hang on. Such as the platform on the surface, maybe? Or does the projection pool have a hint for me? Something that I've missed. Okay. Escape pod. Lake Bed Cave, Quantum Moon Locator. That's the Ember Twin. I'm looking at the wrong one. The Ash Twin. The Ash Twin Project. The Ash Twin Towers. Several large Namai towers form a ring around Ash Twin's equator. The White Hole Station was used as a model for these towers, which were built for the Ash Twin Project. The central chamber inside Ash Twin was physically sealed off by, whoopsie, by an immensely thick protective shell. The Namai plan to construct technology capable of producing a 22-minute negative time interval on Ash Twin. Every memory recorded by a Namai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. An advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin. Sun Station, Ember Twin, Quantum Moon, Hollow's Lantern. The white hole. I've got all the pieces of the puzzle.
then am I mined ore from this site to craft a protective shell designed to physically seal off the central chamber inside Ash Twin. Once the shell was finished, then am I checked to ensure there were no longer any physical entrances or cracks. Alignment angle diagram. The diagram depicting the alignment angle between a warp tower and its corresponding astral body. Warp tower alignment angles are not exact. They only need to be within five degrees of the astral body's center. This results in a slightly longer warp window that lasts roughly several seconds. Every, anyone stepping into the warp platform during act, the, active, the active window will be immediately warped. The warp tower's alignment point is not the is not its warp receiver. Rather, a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body. The hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point between them. All of the warp towers were being constructed on Ash Twin, while the six six warp receivers are being constructed in different locations. Designs for each of the towers. Each tower was designed to visually reflect its warp destination. Does it have something to do with the alignment of the receiver? As in, is there a warp point inside the so it's physically sealed here's my logic it's physically sealed we're not getting in physically there's no door the only way we're going to get in is via the warp travel system right is there a warp receiver in there is what i'm wondering and if there is can you get to it from a different location something that physically resembles it what was that? The alignment angle. Alignment to what? Am I hot or cold, chat? I suppose you can't type, can you? Sorry, you're in emote mode. Um... <laughs> You're putting flame emotes. <laughs> uh, forge. The alignment angle diagram. It's got something to do with warp travel into the Ash Twin project. One second, just to rule out a possibility. I'm pretty confident it's not the case, but you know, you guys keep saying that I'm overthinking the problem. Let me just have a look at that other... Hang on. So there's another pad which shouldn't be used for anything. Right? What's that other pad on the other Ash Twin? Just to rule out the simple stuff. The next thing that's in my mind is wondering if it has something to do with Brittle Hollow's black hole. Okay, so where are you? What's that? What is that? What are you aligned with? What's this? Whoops. I've never arrived here. The sand kept fucking with me for one. It's a receiver. So there's no way it's going to send me back. But what do you align with? Hold on. What appears over your head? This shirt over there. 
Oh, he's on the same planet as I am, isn't he? He's on the north bit. Does anything appear over this platform's head? I know, I know it's a receiver, Finny. I just said, I know it's... I just want to see what appears above its head. Does this go in alignment with, say, the shell of the Ash Twin? No. It does not. Okay, so... Next thought that I'm having is... Where does the tower for the Hourglass Twins actually go? That's the one that I haven't tried, because the sand kept fucking with me? Where does it go? Hello, Quantum Moon. You have a nice day? Being weird? Where does it go? Where do you go? You're the only one I've not activated. Okay. We might have to wait some time, I'm afraid, folks. Do we have to wait until all the sand is gone before it achieves its alignment? And then we have a, <clears throat> a precious few moments to look inside the Ash Twin project. Oh, no, it doesn't make any sense because then we wouldn't have enough time to take the advanced warp core. Over to the... <gasps> oh, hang on. All we need to do is... No, that's not true. Damn, the star is at the end of the natural... Sorry, I thought I had it. I thought everything just clicked there. I thought for a minute all we have to do is break it. All we have to do is break the core and we stop the cycle, but we don't because the star... It's, it's, it's occurring naturally, isn't it? It's not happening because the machine is making it happen. Drat. So maybe I'm barking down the wrong tree entirely because we won't have any time to go and install the warp core. Hmm. Also, thank you, mods. I appreciate. Thank you for uh, for trying to keep this uh, a special Eureka moment for me. I appreciate it greatly. Hello, Quantum Moon. You weird thing. Okay, so that is the Sun Station. There we are. This is the one warp gate that I've never activated. So, it is fully aligned with the center. Thank you, General Tomat. Thank you very much, General. So, presumably, we appear there, but then when we jump back, do we go inside the Ash Twin? Maybe. Sorry, where does this go? Oh, just up here. Uh, did I check that scroll? I must have done. waiting for the door to appear. So yeah, for those just joining the adventure, I'm trying to... Actually thinking about this now. I mean, even if we figure out what the eye of the universe is, aren't we just doomed? 
The star has reached the end of its natural life. There was no fixing this, was there? The Harthian race is doomed. Wait. Why are there two pads? What's the second pad? Where do you go? Okay. So... The one with the intact glass goes to the surface location. Which is... when it comes into view the warp receiver on the surface so where do you go the one with the cracked glass because the glass is cracked we may only find out when all the sand has drained from the hourglass friends visiting the hanging city we are planning the Ash Twin project at the High Energy Lab on the, uh, sorry, the High Energy Lab on Ember Twin's equator. I became lost on Ember Twin, my gratitude that Rami found me. But the High Energy Lab is the building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. I imagine our, our otherwise immensely clever Conoy would lose his own head if it weren't anatomically impossible. So where does this go? Okay. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. I best get to either my ship or... Yeah, the ship's closer. <clears throat> One minute. Fuel, got air, we're good. Chat's going crazy on me. Hmm. It won't function when the sand pulls me away from the pad. I feel it, it may only function when all the sand has drained from the hourglass.
couple of, a few more minutes and we'll be well we'll be able to test that regardless I'll try to get it functioning anyway can I burn my jetpack hard in the opposite direction <laughs> hello interloper Lifting me each time. Crap. Am I gonna die? Let's smack my head against it. Nope. God damn. Ow. Damn it. Ah. Frustrating. Is that me stranded now? Piss. Maybe I can pick up enough speed. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, but don't touch it. Keep moving, but don't touch. Fuck, charge it up. Don't break my legs. It's pure skill. Okay. Almost there. But based on how the chat is reacting, I presume I'm... Not correct, but we'll see. We'll see. Trying to eliminate possibilities. That's the only pad I've not activated. Isn't it? So when all the sand is drained, does the pad activate safely? Equip the scout launcher. Does it function? It functioned! It worked! To where? I'm right! I'm right! Okay! Okay! Whoa! The towers... Funneling energy to a... I don't know. The spinning vortex that I saw. But I'm right. The statues. And I'm guessing they're time machine. No, they're advanced warp core. That must be it. Okay. Thank you, Elith. Or Eth. 
Ethel? Elfie? Thank you very much. Thank you. Is that it? Is the hourglass out of sand? So, this is their time machine. Giving them 22 minutes of reset time. Which they thought they'd never activate. Is that more sand? Yep, not quite yet. chat expression tells me that they know of a way you know of a way to activate it with despite the sand can one force against the sand it seems too strong Will do, Finny. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you, PLZT. Thank you very much, PL. Shit. Damn it. There's air inside. I'll have time. Thank you, Rewind. Thank you very much, Rewind. Is the hourglass empty? Here we go. Nope. Damn it. Come on. Okay. Let's try anyway. Okay, no, you can do it. Okay, my mistake. Okay. For an extremely limited amount of time. Holy shit. That's their advanced warp core. 20 minutes. And you got a minute and a half. Masks receiving data from the probe tracking module, Giant's Deep memory statue, Timber Hearth memory statue, two minutes until end of cycle. Okay. I'll come back quickly and continue reading. That's their machine, I presume, at the end? One minute. Reading pauses time. That's true, I suppose. 21 minutes, 28 seconds.
Yarrow. Today we finished the excavation of Ash Twin. Here, in this space we carved, we will craft our most ambitious project yet, the Ash Twin Project. Powerful enough to send information back in time. We also finished relocating all subterranean plants we met while digging. We'll need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. How far we've come since our experiment at the High Energy Lab. Oh my god. Okay, so now I know that I can get in quickly. My mistake. But I got it right. I guess correctly. Here we go. Fast. No time slate. We'll all be dead in 22 minutes and Timber Hearth will be little more than some debris floating around a neutron star. Even if I end this. Okay, quickly. Ah, drat. Takes a while for that tower to expose itself, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, bollocks. Okay. Whee! Heh <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. Okay. It won't be long, just a few minutes. Use a campfire? Doesn't that just reset the cycle? No? Oh, I assumed that it would. If it does and you guys are fucking with me, I swear to fucking... I'll turn this stream around. Ah! Oh, okay. Ah, I see. It's okay. okay. Right. Okay, chat. That's fine. Let's go three minutes. Okay. Hopefully, the tower should now be exposed. Indeed, let's just check the ship's log. The Ash Twin Project. The hollowed out chamber inside Ash Twin. The energy cables from the surface are plugged into a protective casing at the center of the planet. There are eight monoliths with no my masks attached. Three of the masks are actively receiving data from the probe tracking module, Giant's Deep and Timber Hearth. There is more to learn here. Okay. 
Okay. Whoops, what am I doing? Let's go. Right, back to the Ash Twin. There it is. The tower is now exposed. Let's get in there. Okay. No, no. Um, auto, I know what the answer is. The third mask is, li is linked to the probe control unit aboard the uh, turret. It's the thing that's supposed to be broadcasting the data insofar as where the eye of the universe is. The fact that it was destroyed, I presume, means that... Uh, Actually, no. No, it doesn't matter now. Sorry, that piece of the puzzle is now not fitting there, is it? It's not that it correctly sent the signal and there was no one left alive to stop the time loop. It's that the... Well, yes, no, that, I suppose it is the answer to it, isn't it? It was transmitting the signal and it wasn't... Uh, yeah, there was no one left alive to go, go there and explore. Okay. Here we go. So for those just joining the stream, inside the core of this world, the one that I'm standing on, is a secret alien project. I'm going to teleport into it. No, 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 no. Oh, it's so strong. Fuck. God damn, it's really... Damn it. Fuck. We've got to wait again. There's an easier way into this warp. Okay, I give up. What's the easy way to this wolf? The eye of the storm? What eye of the storm? The sandstorm has an eye? No, it doesn't. Why would it have a... No, it doesn't. What do you want about? Liars. I call you liars. I point at you and I call you liars. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Big fibbers, that's what you are. Hang on. Fibby McFibbersons. Fibby, Fibby McFuck. Hang on. Middle bit's weaker? How was I supposed to know that? <laughs> okay. Right, anyway. No time to lose. We're in a time machine. 
10 minutes, 38 seconds ago, receiving data from previous cycles. Masks receiving data from the probe tracking module, the Giant's Deep memory statue, and the Timber Half memory statue. 12 minutes until end of cycle transmission. So each time it's transmitting the data back, isn't it? Okay. So, blah blah blah, we celebrate the success of this project. Yarrow. Poke just sent the warp core for the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ash Twin can be connected with Giant Steep, where Kasave is working with Arvins to craft the orbital probe cannon, and where Phlox is sculpting the memory statues. Hypothesis. It was not by accident the core of our warp tower was lot last to be forged. Hypothesis. The course could have been forged faster if Kasava had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. Yarrow. The important point is that we're all connected through Ash Twins now, and also that I'm no longer needed for meditating your disagreements, mediating your dis disagreements. Yarrow. Our friends on Giant Steep tested the orbital probe cannon today. Mallow tells me the cannon is doing well and that Arvins advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Arvins can. But then if anyone can goad a device into exploding, that too is likely Arvins. Perhaps I should check in with the orbital probe cannon crew in the interest of safety. Would it help to remind Arvins that Mallow, his love, would be one of the Nomai aboard the cannon, or is Mallow part of the problem? Phlox and Daz finished the memory statues today, and they, they are truly remarkable. When the Ash Twins project succeeds, or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Pi and Idea have worked hard on the Sun Station, and it is at, at least, sorry, it, it, it at last is complete. If everything goes as planned, this structure will prompt the Sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power uh, to the Ash, Twin, the Ash Twin project requires. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult tasks, task in, uh, sorry, in more ways than one. They were willing to kill all of us for their little... We're nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin project. Here is what will happen. First, the Sun Station will receive the order to fire at the Sun, prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin project will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Okay. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the Sun Station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon from this cannon launch back in time. I see. Wait, wait! Each cycle created by the Ash Twin project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end the cycle at will. Is the sun station firing? These words are difficult to write. The sun station did not work. Suppose we redesign the sun station to generate power of that magnitude. A supernova is still our only viable option. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. This is easier expressed than accomplished. You can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, idea, but you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. However, this is the closest we have ever been. The Ash Twin project is theoretically sound. We were only able to power it. Perhaps there's another way. We're halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. A comet has newly arrived in this solar system. We're anxious to explore it. It's been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new, so we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. So their device is now just... I got my hopes up there for a second. I thought that maybe the station... We could sabotage it, somehow stop it from happening. The star has reached the end of its natural lifespan, hasn't it? The 
Sun Station will receive the order to fire at the Sun, prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin Project will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the Sun Station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launch back in time. We can't stop it. We've got no way of stopping it. Sun Twin. Hourglass Twins to Brittle Hollow. The Supernova Forge. Oh, wrong way. Sorry. Sorry, the um, Black Hole Forge, not the Supernova Forge. I have good news, says Clary. Yarrow, the advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twin. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here is working on the Ash Twin project. Everyone here working here is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary and her design work is beautifully clever. The core's durability can still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yarrow. The core is finished. And if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. My gratitude for the latest shipment. This ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. We finished the shell. I've read that one. The protective shell. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin project flops. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. The statues will not be paired until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience will be hard to endure. Ideally, they only need to be activated once the project succeeds as a safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Artificial gravity control. If I wanted to get up there. What opened when it did that? Wait, what am I doing? Stop. Stop. Fuck. You're about to access the core while the Ash Twin project is active. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin project. No. But we'll die. We'll all die. In 22 minutes. It's already been put in motion. It can't be stopped. Not that the sun station had anything to do with it. If I switch it off, will the statue's power down? I don't know. But this would be permadeath, wouldn't it? Or am I misunderstanding? That the time loop would not occur. We would just explode and all die, and then that would be the end of it, if I remove the core. I don't know what to do. It's the natural death of the star. This is not triggered by the Namai. All this is doing is making us aware of it.
choice do I have? If I do this, the star's going to explode and we'll all die. Is there another way? Star's about to explode, I can hear it. What opened? When the project triggered, what opened? The singularity opened, but to where? Sending information back in time, right? Should I wait for it to happen? Wait, it's happening. Now, I can hear it. Is it exploding now? Stand by, what's the timer on it? Where does it go? soon. A few more moments. Okay, I'm super reluctant to remove it. If I do that, then it's over. We all die, as far as I know, unless I put the pieces incorrectly in my head. bubbling outside. Three more minutes. What did they do afterwards? They just gave up. Fuck. Wait for the sun to explode in its natural timeline if you prefer. Suppose we redesign the sun station to generate power of that magnitude. A supernova is still our only viable option. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova. We can end this cycle at will. What does that mean, we can end this cycle at will? Well, of course, using their sun station, but I can't. That's my problem, chat. It's the sun's natural death in 22 minutes. In seconds now. Removing this will simply stop the time jump and we'll die. So what happens when it triggers? 
where does that portal go? going. Here we go. One minute and five seconds remaining. There it goes, a supernova, a star at the end of its natural life. The energy is channeled into the warp core, which opens that. Why? What is that? Whoa. Death, that's it? No, that's what it's using, of course. That is the literal manifestation of, of the time jump, isn't it? That singularity there. The statues are channeling through it, aren't they? Okay, sorry. So that's answered that question. They're not opening it to go anywhere, apart from back in time. We were always going through that, or at least our memories were. Every single loop we've been going through that. Okay. So, as quickly as I can, and I do mean quickly, grab the warp core, and then the project shuts down. And then everybody here dies. The whole solar system dies. Okay. Indeed, if there's time, if we can get to the Nomai ship, enter the coordinates, which I think I've got. I've made a rough scribble. Fuck, 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 fuck. No! <laughs> I've got like a scribble on the notepad next to me for the eye's coordinates. Okay. Just rest for a minute at the campfire. I mean, uh, sorry, chat, have I, have I got, like, the wrong end of the stick? Am I... Because that, that's all that the project is doing. It's warp core is just sending everyone back. It's not stop. It's not causing the sun to go. The sun has just reached the end of its natural life. It's going anyway. Okay. Uh, wait, what am I doing? Those off. Just 
couple of minutes, not too long. But would I even have time to get to the know my vessel? There we go. Where are they? Indeed. Got to go fast indeed. So there's the equator. That's the sun tower. There they are. That's what I need. Here we go. Under the sand, but not for long. <clears throat> okay. Damn. to pass. Careful. So we get in, yoink the warp core, and then, then in the final 18 minutes of our lives, rush to put the warp core into the vessel at Dark Bramble, enter the coordinates, and then jump to whatever the hell the Eye of the Universe is. And then I don't know. Either way, as far as I know, we'll have one shot. Yeah, that would suck, wouldn't it, Duxlayer? Get to the climactic bit, and then all you do is get eaten by a bloody fish. <laughs> Where's the bloody sand? Here it comes. Okay. Don't get spiked by that bugger. Go. There we go, we're in. Okay. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Come on, every second get what the What? What? Uh... What? You're me from the last loop? I think so. I started this current loop by popping out of a white hole inside the Ash Twin project. I started at the campfire like usual. Makes sense to me, seeing how jumping into the black hole is definitely what created two of us. Hey, what do you think happened if you don't jump into the black hole again at the end of the loop? 
information went back. I went back. I sent myself back in time. <laughs> um, I guess we'll find out. I guess so. At any rate, it's been good talking to you. Incredibly strange, but good. See you around. <laughs> this fucking game! Holy fucking shit! Well, that's the answer to my question. Information was sent back. Me. <laughs> okay. Now he has to jump into the loop in order to complete it. Chat, did you know about that? Here we go. Okay, this is it. Wait, I'm, am I not just create a huge time paradox? I'm about to break the universe because he can't jump. Oh, fuck it. Uh. Um. You can't go back in time. Uh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> we just screamed at each other. Um. Okay. Fuck. Right. Sick with the original. What the f fuck? Just what? What have I done? There we go. Okay. The soundtrack. Oh no. The game knows what I've done. Let's go. This is it. Death now is permanent, I assume. <clears throat> Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Come on, Dark Bramble, where are you? Dark Bramble, where are you? There. No, that's the White Hole Station. Dark Bramble is on the other side of the sun. I'll never make it. I'll never make it. Go. Slate. The autopilot will get me there. I'll never see him again. Disengage and go. As quickly as we can. Into the compressed space. Switch on for the Namai signal. Distress beacon, where is it? There you are. Let's go. I am. Okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Just relax. Got this. Okay, let's go. Careful. That way.
one of the lights. Follow the lights. Engage. Sorry. Duplicate signal entry detected. Fly. Good luck. Here we go. Speed. Let go of the control. We float. Do not move until we're clear. Follow 2.2k. Don't move. Sorry, the coordinates are on the log. I see that this, it's up at top, see? We've got to wait until we're clear. If I switch on the thrusters, they'll hear me. The eye cords will appear on my HUD. Okay, well I've got them scribbled down next to me, recorded from the cannon. It should be enough. It should be enough. Come on, please. That's the Namai vessel. I've got the ability to power its warp core. This is probably going to be the last time I'll be in this vessel. Thank you. Broken warp core. Already holding warp core. Insert warp core. Ship powered up. She's ready. Show me the controls. Navigation control engaged. I coordinates. Locked. of the solar system. That's the eye. That's home. My ship. Can I still reach it? The other thing. What other thing? Where? Where does it go? On the surface of the eye.
the, the Namai wondered what would happen if a conscious mind stepped into something that generates such uncertainty on a macroscopic scale. We're about to find out. Detected. Ah. South Pole. That's not a reflection of it, that's it itself. How does one enter? No gravity here. Not in the middle. Oh. Oh. Whoa. What? What? Outer Wilds Ventures was founded by Feldspar, Gossen, Slate and Hornfels to explore the solar system at the end of the universe. The Namai never got to see it for themselves, but thanks to their efforts and technology, a Harthian was able to reach the eye of the universe. The Namai who came to our solar system were following a signal from the eye of the universe. They perished when the interloper arrived, bringing with it the deadly substance we call ghost matter that flooded the entire solar system almost instantaneously and without warning. At the end of its lifespan, our sun collapsed under its own gravity and then exploded in a violent supernova.
Hornfell's observations. Same notes as before. Hornfell pointing out that the universe was expanding. the stars go out. We're watching the galaxies go out. Unidentified signal. Out of Wild's Ventures? Even after all the stars and all the black holes have gone out, all the galaxies have faded away, there's one knobhead at the end of the universe <laughs> eating marshmallows. Do you hear music? <laughs> right back.
Nice banjo. Remember the rules. Of course. His banjo is quantum. I suppose everything that's left in the universe is. Its position is only certain when it's recorded. Hello, Ryback. It's, um... It's not quite time yet. I'm pretty sure we'll need the others for the next part. We'll need, you know, everyone. No rush. Take your time. It might not even exist here. <laughs> Chert. Passive-aggressive Wally. His telescope. Where are his drums? Spa, the old fruit. One at a time. Church, yeah, head, get over here. Where are you? Damn it, Chert. Stop being quantum and weird. Get felt spa instead. Oh, Jesus. Okay, you can piss off. So there's nothing left. There's nothing left of the universe? Haha. <laughs> hey, Feldspar. Hatchling! You found me! Nice to have company around a campfire, isn't it? Go on. Go get the others. Wouldn't want them to miss out. Go find Chert. Where is he? Bogs off over there, doesn't he? What's he doing? Damn it. Stop doing that. You stay there. Alright. You're breaking the rules of quantum. Upper right hand corner. Oh. moment. What does it want me to do? Ah, I see. I was unaware that one could do that. Chert, come here. Okay. So with nothing left in the universe, no black holes, no stars, no nothing, everything that exists is now quantum, and it only exists if I say it exists, if I measure it. And I choose to measure my friends. The stars were beautiful, weren't they? Even if our star is ultimately 
what killed us. Or what ultimately killed us. I'll wait here and remember them while you gather everybody. Who? Piano? And am I? Ready, guys? I can't quite reach it. <laughs> Thank you, Gravity. Thank you very much. Ah, one second. Mm. <laughs> Can't point all the way up. Is this a mouse limitation, do you reckon? Remember the rules. Okay. Ah! That'll do nicely. Thank you, Namai. Long dead, along with everything else. Solanum. Hello again, Solanum. Hypothesis. Everyone must be here before we can begin. Once they arrive, I believe we'll be ready for the next step. I'm glad you remembered me. <laughs> Gabro? Are you still playing that flute? One second. You spoon headed bastard with your bloody poetry. Still at it. Even at the end of the universe. Gabro? You and your bloody hammock. Good to see you again. What do you say, time buddy? Ready to start the music? Yeah. This should be cool. Chet? Shall I begin? Yes. Here we go. Feldspar. The second greatest astronaut now, I suppose. What do you say then? Should I get out the old harmonica? Yes. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Solanum, you're welcome to join us. A conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. Is it time to find out? Yes. This song is new to me, but I'm honoured to be a part of it. Rybeck, 
Well done. One of the bravest astronauts I ever met. Eska, if you're out of tune, I swear to God.
That was beautiful. <laughs> and it all starts anew. New galaxy, new life form, new universe rather, new life forms, new planets, new stars, new black holes, <laughs> new stories. So, ultimately, the eye of the universe was like a spark, I suppose. It was the spark of the universe, the thing left over from its creation, and subsequently the spark of the next one. And it seems that the answer to the question that the Nomai dedicated their entire lives to try and figure out what would happen when a conscious person entered the eye of the universe, the answer was they would be witnesses. We got to witness the creation of the next universe alongside our friends. And that's beautiful. Although the Harthians, they would have gotten super unlucky. A very old universe they evolved into with a star that was dying, naturally dying. So the Nomai had nothing to do with it in the end. Their death was entirely accidental and not within their control. And even though, yes, they were going to make the star go supernova, they didn't. They just died out and left their tool running. And by the time we figured out a way to escape it, it was already too late. If anything, they gave us the chance to slot in the final piece of the puzzle of their project to let us witness it at, uh, well, witness all of this. Without it, well, we would have still been in our huts back on Timber Hearth when it was destroyed. <laughs> I missed a bit of dialogue at the end. I shouldn't Google it because of DLC spoilers. Sure, no worries. So that's kind of beautiful that the universe was brought into being this time, not through, well, I don't know whatever the eye would do, but we sang it into existence. Together. Yeah, that's really beautiful. Holy shit. Strongly recommend. <laughs> that's an incredible game. Really, really incredible. Strongly recommend, but uh, definitely pick this one up. How did they die? The Namai or the Harthians? The Namai died because the interloper arrived, carrying a compressed core of that strange matter that exploded on them, wiping out, well, them in the solar system. Ghost matter, sorry. What did I call it? It was strange matter, wasn't it they called it? Yeah, that was pretty incredible. So in the end, we ended up caught in, I suppose, what we perceived to be a trap, but in the end was the final lifeline to the ability to become a witness to the next universe's creation. Yeah. You think the game says the interloper crashed through the eye? Which is where it picked up the ghost matter. Uh, I'm not so sure. I mean, consider that anything that goes near the eye inherits quantum properties, and ghost matter wasn't being quantum, was it? I don't think so. I think it just flew in and killed them. Ghost matter doesn't pass through water and the Harthians were aquatic. Ah. That would explain how they survived. And then evolved over the course of 281,042 years. <laughs> Andre, true story by the way. 
Honestly? I hope so. If that's the way that our own universe will go out being witnessed by at least somebody, I'm okay with that. Thank you for watching, everyone. This was Outer Wilds. I'm going to go listen to the soundtrack now. <laughs> okay. Right, and thank you sincerely if you were subbing during that. Thank you, Smitty, Tutu, uh, Chertimi, Catty Madness, Midas, Asmodeus, Paradax, sorry, bear with me, Frosty Silver, uh, Alav... Lava and Nyaxonia and the best user thank you all of you anyway I'm going to go and cuddle the dog listen to the soundtrack and raise my glass towards a masterpiece of a game right one moment <laughs> at the end of the universe eating marshmallows that's wonderfully cosy isn't it okay one second, just gonna have a thing. Who's doing what? So, ZF Smeagol is playing a bit of Rust, Yuki is doing Elden Ring, and Joink is doing VR chat. In which case, I'll hand you over to Joink then. Not sure what he's doing. Oh, he's playing Uno. Okay, I'll leave you in his company. Right, so this is ZF Joink. Thank you again, everyone. Have a lovely evening. Hope to see you again soon. Take care and sleep well.